Okay, well, I have some sounds here. Uh, in the description below, you will find a link to the site where I usually uh, get my footsteps and all my uh, prototyping sounds from. Um, I use this in a different uh, game, uh, which I was prototyping a few uh, uh, a few months ago. Uh, but I got the footsteps right here. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna use these sounds um, and you uh, can download your own sounds. So I'm gonna create a new folder, sounds, and dragging in the footsteps. There we go. Now the sounds are pretty straightforward. Uh, footsteps, four different footsteps. So this is one Maybe not the best, but but still, four sounds. What we're gonna do, let's select the footsteps. Um, the clips aren't compiled. Oh, we got an error, error here. Um, clips length. wants to try to convert an integer to an audio clip. Ah, yeah, of course, I'm sorry. Clips should, of course, be, this should be the index we're getting. So it's gonna be um, a clip index equals random range. And then our clip, uh, audio clip, clip equals uh, clips, clip index. There we go. Now let's wait for it to compile. There we go. So we have a few clips. Uh, let's drag in those clips. If you if you uh, you can drag it on the on the uh, on the property name and it will simply add it. So we got four clips now, and let's make a, a delay between clips. For um, so if we don't put in a delay, so if we put one, it will play the uh, random footstep sound every second uh, but let's make it uh, a little bit slower maybe with 0.3 and we're gonna time this with our uh, footsteps so that it matches our footstep speed uh, so we can we might need uh, footsteps for walk for running for uh, all those different uh, uh, states so uh, but we're gonna use uh, First, just footsteps, maybe just uh, footstep uh, run is our default, I think. Okay, we could also change the delay, maybe, but uh, yeah, let's let's do it like this first. Okay, let's check it for um, making any obvious mistakes. I don't think so. And uh, now we need to open up the player and we need to get the reference to our uh, sound effects uh, for now we're going we're just going to assign this single uh, walking footstep this way but we uh, we will change this later um, audio controller uh, footstep There we go, and now in our move. So if we are moving, uh, let's check here, because um, if I'm gonna just gonna play it here, it will always play the sound. So we need to check if we are actually moving. Um, so let's use the direction for it. If direction. Um, Magnitude, I think. Great. No, no, it's direction equals factor to zero. If it's not, it equals this. I mean, we're gonna say footsteps play. Maybe this is this is not the way we want it, but let's check if what happens now. Oh, not 
Oh uh, yeah, I forgot to uh, assign it, of course. This is why I usually don't want to assign stuff. There we go. I'm not hearing anything. No. No, I'm not hearing anything. I'm not sure why. Um, let's make sure the audio is being played. Uh, print playing. Doesn't really matter that I'm making a typo. I just want to see if it hits it here. It goes here. And it will stop when I'm not walking. So that probably that works uh, the way I want. Uh, print uh, can play. It sh uh, yeah, it's, it's false when we uh, start. A boolean is always false when it, when it's initialized. So in the start, let's say can play equals true. There we go. So you see that it's totally not in sync with our walk. I think it's gonna. Needs to be slower. Five, no. four, no. maybe it needs to be faster even. Two, five. This is just fiddling around a bit. Better, not not entirely how I want it, but we could. Prop we are now uh, playing the sounds based on on the vector two. If we're not even getting, uh, if we are uh, giving input, but basically we maybe we should try and check if we are uh, if we have moved uh, a certain amount of distance before we play the sound. Do we, we could do that as well. Let's make it a little bit less. No, it's not it's not very convincing right now, but I think you get the uh, get the idea of it. So yeah, let's um, keep it like this for now. Yeah, it's not the way we really want it to. To happen now. Let's not keep it like this. I'm sorry, guys. Let's put it on 0.25 and um, go back to our player. And let's find out the not not this way, but let's find out how much we moved since uh, since the last frame. So uh, let's make a private uh, vector three uh, last position, uh, maybe a pref position previous. Position and every time we are here, we're gonna say the uh, by the end of the controller, of course. And say maybe we should move this to the move controller, but I'm keeping it here right now because I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. Uh, equals uh, transform position. So now when we will fall, it will also play the sound. Uh, so we work on that maybe later because we cannot really fall off stuff right now. Uh, with the previous position set, let's check the... Um, let's move this down to here. So we first uh, move our player in the move controller. Then we're going to check the length between the current uh, previous maybe factor three distance uh, transform position and the previous position uh, which will give us uh, a float which is the distance so if that distance is uh, greater than maybe our 
minimal move threshold. Then we're gonna play. Minim minimum, minimal, minim minimum, whatever. Minimum move threshold. So let's assign this here as well for now. Um, yeah. So we might change the delay uh, a little bit as well to make sure it won't play uh, play twice. Uh, let's move, put it at uh, point uh, three. See what happens. See, it's not really playing. If I'm making small corrections, that's probably good. No. Let's make this one zero, just for that's what I tried to say. Uh, point two. A little, a little bit better. Uh, well, you can. I'm, I'm sure you can uh, fiddle around with this until you've got it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna leave it here. Um, but I think you you can uh, fiddle it around uh, around a little bit until you get the satisfaction uh, of the sounds you want. Um, a little bit too slow. I'm going to keep it like this. All right, um, that's it for now. See you in the next uh, video, guys.